Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a feature called Macro, which will allow you to define your own functions to be added to your inputs or columns. Based on the example of ERP SAS, which we already covered a few times on this channel, another example from there is some extra formatting on some of the fields and columns. So currency is not a filament feature, that's why it's even underlined by my PHP Storm, because it doesn't automatically find it where it is defined in the app service provider, or it may be your filament service provider, it doesn't matter that much. So you can define your column, like text column, select or whatever you want, macro, then define the name and then callback function with whatever logic you want. So for example, on the text column, the goal is to convert the money value with correct format based on currency. Similarly, text input in the form evaluate that and then add a mask and for that the project uses underneath the library so if we click on the money you would land on accounting laravel money package which is a laravel package but basically what it does is this you have currency and balance and if you choose euro for example the format is different so you have a comma here if we change to indian rupee we have a dot here and you would use a similar behavior twice in your resources or many times if you have prices in multiple places. Instead, you could define it as a macro called currency and then use it inside of your resources like this. The whole example of formatting the money here is quite complicated and I don't want to get into that. You can read the source, it's open source and I will link that in the description below. What I wanted to show you here is the actual logic of macros. So we have text input currency and then the same name. This is probably what I would do differently because it's a bit confusing, but in the table, in the column of opening balance, we have also a macro called currency. So what it does in the list of accounts, it transforms that into Euro formatted value. While in the database, it looks like this opening balance in cents with currency code, and then it is transformed into this. Another example of that is in the discounts table. The end date is red with danger color if it is already passed. So there's another macro for that called color, which is general name, meaning you can use color in many cases depending on your condition. So it would add span text color 500 to whatever value. It is used in the resource, in the discount resource, in the table, text column, like this. So if the discount record end date is passed, then we add color danger, which looks like this. So yeah, a few examples of macros, which you can define in your service provider and use in your filament resources. Have you used macros in your project or do you have any creative examples where you would use that in the future? Share your ideas in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos about filament and see you guys in those other videos.